The Backyard by Amy Shannon. Part One, George. A sigh of relief, it's over. It's a new beginning. The end to life before and the start of life beginning. What a bunch of crap. I stared at myself in the mirror. George, what the hell were you thinking? I ran my hands over my bald head. I love keeping it this way. Wonderfully smooth, no signs of hair at all. I also loved my blue eyes, always looking for someone with similar eyes, clear but blue, piercing almost. I entice myself and sometimes others. Oh well, someday I'll find another connection. I took a deep breath and I turned around. Yes, the mirror was the first thing I put on the wall of my new home. A home not too big and not too small and just far enough away from Laura. Yeah, my ex-wife is now finally three states away, just far enough away. I moved here in four days, moved here four days ago with the only boxes that would fit in my Chevy station wagon. I love this car, inherited it from my father when he died and I never let it go. Yes, it's very outdated and old school, but it's a perfectly rusted maroon tank. It's timeless, to me at least. I moved into this small ranch house in a small town in upstate New York, moving away from the large city. I like this house already. Feels like home. It's quiet and almost secluded. There are about five houses on this dead end road and mine is second to the last. All of the neighbors home seemed very well kept, almost as if it's a requirement to live on the street. My direct neighbor's eight foot fence borders our properties. He must be quite the gardener. His front yard, an extreme vibrant green with perfectly trimmed hedges. I know I have to, a lot to do in order to keep up with the neighbors, but I've always loved working in the yard. It kept me away from my wife when my marriage was falling apart. Hmm, I got to stop being reminded of that. Looking forward. Yes, looking forward. I found the perfect home and I have the perfect job. I'm a freelance writer and I've written for many magazines, but I recently thought I could challenge myself and my skills by attempting to write a novel. Hell, I ended up writing several, actually 10. I thoroughly enjoyed the the challenge, but the first one was about a man who killed his wife and got away with it, so much that he turned on everyone who ever made him angry. Yeah, it was more cathar cathartic for me, and it turned out to be a bestseller, Charlie's Way. The next two books weren't quite as successful, but they've made a few sales or two. I ended up toning down the violence in the next ones, where there were more about mystery than thrillers. Then I knew exactly what my stories needed in order to find my niche. Yes, there it was. I found my niche, violent and mysterious thrillers revolving around psychopaths and serial killers. That's where starting again. I've got several books under my new niche, but I bet the next one is yet to come. However, the title is still empty untitled but the story is pouring out i still have a lot of unpacking to do but the office is first right now my old but usable electric typewriter is balancing on a few boxes that is my makeshift desk but it works writing is very important and so is convincing myself that this is my life and i need to embrace it bookshelves show my hit and misses sellers all sellers but only a few best sellers charlie's way incognito by proxy all by me george strauss yes i am george strauss and it's only a bestseller when there's murder mayhem and an interesting psychopath